Thank you, Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame, for this moment. And I'd like to congratulate all the inductees of the class of 2012. Words cannot express how grateful and excited I am. So I prepared remarks and simply want to thank some people. Thanks first and foremost to my mother, Mrs. Thelma Wilkes. My wife, Valerie. My sister, Gail, and brother, Leo, who aren't here. And my children, Sabrine, Omar, and Jordan. Dan Guerrero, the UCLA Athletic Director, presented my name to the selection committee, and I'd like to thank you, Dan. I'd like to thank uh, Edward Davis, longtime friend and consultant, Lisa Wayne, friend and business partner, Bill Bennett in the athletic department at UCLA, John Black of the Los Angeles Lakers, and Seymour Smith, former sports writer, all very helpful in keeping my name in front of each selection committee until this magical year. Thank you also very much. It all began for me when I was eight years old playing pickup basketball at Ventura High School. And Coach Bob Swanson came up to me and said, that's pretty good, son. Can you use your left hand? And it continued on with Coach Jack Tregero when I transferred from Ventura High to Santa Barbara High School for my senior year of high school. I am so fortunate to have played with some of the greatest basketball players of all time. Bill, we had an incredible run at UCLA, and it was a privilege to play with you. And thank you for being one of my best and dearest friends for over 40 years. Rick, you've been a mentor and friend on and off the court, and thank you so much for your support in getting me in the Hall of Fame. Kareem, one of my biggest honors was playing alongside you, the greatest scorer in the history of the NBA. And thank you for this honor. Irvin, your Showtime magic was a fast break from Hollywood to Springfield. And thank you for yet another assist and thank you for making the, a difference in the lives of so many people. <laughs> I wish time could permit other teammates to be on stage with me like Henry Bibby, Swin Nader, David Myers, and Marcus Johnson at UCLA. <laughs> Clifford Ray, George Johnson, uh, Butch Beard and Phil Smith and Jeff Mullins at Golden State and Norm Nixon, Michael Cooper, Kurt Rambis, Byron Scott, and Mitch Kupchak with the Lakers and so many others. It is awesome to have these four men presenting me today. They along with Hall of Fame coach John Wooden at UCLA, Coach Addles at Golden State, Coach Jack McKinney and Paul Westhead, Hall of Fame coach Pat Riley, Congratulations, Pat, on the Miami Heat winning the championship. <laughs> Hall of Famer Jerry West, Hall of Famer Bill Sharman, and Hall of Famer Dr. Jerry Buss, they, they have all had a hand in me standing here now. Now, I humbly invoke the name of the most revered man in the history of college basketball, John Wood. Ten national championships, four perfect seasons, an 88-game winning streak, and an 80.8 .8 winning percentage at UCLA, inducted in the Hall of Fame as both a player and a coach. The one thing we all have in common that played for Coach Wooden is a reverence for what he meant to each of us. It is therefore fitting that I conclude my remarks with the quote from Coach Wooden. Make each day your masterpiece. 
You can't do anything about yesterday. It's over. Tomorrow is yet to come, but tomorrow in large part is determined by what you do today. So make today a masterpiece. Thank you.